I sure hope you enjoyed the warmer weather, the sunshine, the drier weather conditions on into our Thursday because wetter weather is on the way. We're talking much more about that coming up here in just a moment. Here's your almanac data for Thursday. We had a record high or tied the record high temperature in Tri-Cities. Tri-Cities usually is not the warmest spot, but in this case, it was. 89 degrees, which the old record, or tied record anyways, was set back in 2010. Made it into the low, mid, and upper 80s for Knoxville, Crossville, and the Chattanooga area. So it was a warm one for sure. We're going to hang out to those warm temperatures as we head into the weekend and all next week, but we're also talking about some showers and thunderstorms, a little bit more unsettled weather, but don't cancel any outdoor plans. Just stay on top of the weather situation. Download the East Tennessee Weather app. Go to the Google Play Store the App Store and sort, search East TN Weather, all one word. I'm on Roku TV, Amazon Fire, and also on YouTube. So check it out. All right, here we go. Overnight tonight, uh, we're going to continue to see the clouds increase. And as we get into the sunrise hour, morning commute, we could be dealing with some scattered showers. Now, I don't necessarily know that we'll have a lot of thunderstorm activity by sunrise, but as we heat up the atmosphere and get into the afternoon, there is a chance for some showers and thunderstorms. But the morning rain will last through probably about 10 to noon or so. Then we'll see a drier weather period. But then as this inner Energy moves on through and we destabilize the atmosphere, we're likely to see more showers and thunderstorms as we get into our Friday afternoon, Friday evening, and even Friday night as another disturbance heads our way as we get into our Saturday. But just through the day on Saturday, uh, Friday, it's going to be a kind of hit and miss on who really gets the majority of the rain, but some of us could pick up anywhere from a quarter of an inch, third of an inch, maybe upwards of about a half an inch of rainfall as well. Uh, also, the storm system, like I said, could produce some gustier winds or also the possibility of hail up to about half an inch in diameter. Friday, we're going to warm back into the low 80s, so at least we're still staying above average for this time of year, but it's going to be a little bit cooler than what we saw yesterday, thanks to the clouds and the chance for rain. Now, as we get into the weekend, again, don't cancel any outdoor plans, but disturbances are moving on through, so scattered showers and thunderstorms are on Saturday. We've got a lot of events going on this weekend, so make sure you stay on top of the weather situation, as I mentioned, using the East Tennessee Weather app. Sunday, probably less likely to see the coverage of rainfall, but maybe some afternoon showers and storms. We'll probably see a little bit more sunshine as well. So just elevated rain chances. Remember, these rain chances don't tell you the whole story. It doesn't tell you Timing, duration, intensity, totals. So let's talk about the rest of the story because as these waves of energy move on through, that's what's going to spark off the showers and thunderstorms. All these yellows and reds, these are little waves in the atmosphere. And as they move their way from southwest or westerly southwesterly through the area, that's what's going to spark off those showers and storms. And that's really the story as we get into the weekend and also the start of next week as well. And then even beyond that, we may actually be looking at even wetter weather. So the Climate Prediction Center, the Weather Prediction Center is uh, issuing some elevated rain chances anyways as we head through the middle part of May. And that's going to start by the end of next week. And by the end of the next week, you can see by this model guidance all the way through Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we're really going to elevate those rain chances. So we could be dealing with some decent rain by the end of next week, and maybe into the next weekend as well. So just basically Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of next week. So your forecast high temperatures will be in the 70s, 80s. Next Tuesday, Wednesday could be potentially pushing back into the mid 80s. Low temperatures are staying nearly 10, 12, 15 degrees above average for this time of year in the low 60s. So the weekend forecast, we're going to be hovering in the upper 70s to low 80s. Scattered showers and thunderstorms just anticipate that. But looking ahead and beyond that, we actually may be, again, warm, staying above average with above average rainfall, maybe from the 8th through the 12th. And then from the 10th through the 16th, the likelihood of maybe above average temperatures is going to be with us as well. So again, as I mentioned, just stay on top of the weather situation this weekend and through the years. By downloading the East Tennessee Weather app, it's easy to do so. Just go to the Google Play Store, the App Store, and search East TN Weather, all one word. The interactive radar is literally my favorite part. Why? Because it gives you current, past, and two-hour future cast radar with the push of one button. That's some cool stuff right there. We'll see you for Wake Up With Witcher. It starts at 7 o'clock in the morning on all East Tennessee weather platforms, and I hope you join in. We give you the weather updates, and we have a little bit of coffee talk. We take a look at holidays. We talk about events going on for the weekend. So join the conversation. I hope to see you then.